I have a few water bottles here, so we're going to change these plastic bottles into flowers. And so I'm just going to remove all the labeling on these bottles. And you're welcome to look around your house and just see what you can find. Um, I have this old shampoo bottle which is kind of nice because it's already colored in case you didn't have paints to paint your flower. You can just use this because it's already got color on it. Um, you just want to make sure that you get the sticky glue off of it. Right now this still has some sticky glue on it. And the way you do that is you just soak it in warm water for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and um, then just remove the glue with a, a, a sponge. We're going to use different parts of the bottle for parts of the flower. For instance, um, this part right here seems to work really well for this outside, for the outside petals here. So I want to cut this portion off. Now you may want to make those petals longer or shorter, but I wanted to cut right here because I don't want to um, include these grooves of the, of the bottle. So you might have to remove the lid. You may need a sharper, an X-Acto knife or a sharp scissors. Mine are rounded unfortunately so it's a little harder to get it started. But I'm cutting all along this line so I don't get any of these grooves in. And then I'm also just going to pry this off because I had rinsed off these, uh, these bottles just to make sure it's clean. You always want to make sure if you're going to paint it that you're painting on a clean surface. For a really simple flower, there's a really easy way you can do this. You can cut this into four petals. So I want to cut the bottom, start cutting at the bottom because I want them to be equal, equally sized petals. So let's see, I'm going to cut, cut the bottom first like this. And then I'm going to cut the top at the opposite side. and. This has a little line, so it's perfect. I can see where to cut it. And then now we've got two halves, and I'm going to cut this side and this side as well. And that way we get equally sized petals. And that only gives you four petals, so it is kind of simple. And um, I'm actually going to build on this, but if you want to keep it a very simple flower, all you have to do is only use these as petals. And so you want to shape your petals. So for this one, I'm just going to round it around this corner here. And move on to each one and just round the corners. And then you want to do it on the other side as well. It's more awkward for me to cut that way, so... Now also what you can do is you can kind of... This edge is kind of wavy, which is nice. I want the edges to be... A little wavy. I don't want them to be so perfectly straight. So I'm almost just cutting tiny spots here to make them a little bit wavier. 
So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this portion of the bottle to make the inside of the flower. And I'm just, I really like the design and these ridges here. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to just add, I'm going to put a little yellow paint directly on the bottle. And I'm just going to paint a rectangular shape and I want to cover so this is about two inches thick and about close to four inches long so I've painted that yellow I'm gonna set that aside and let that dry and this is the point where you can decide if you want to keep your petals very simple and you can just start painting these or I'm going to make additional petals and let me show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to take another bottle and I'm going to cut petals out of that in the same area. Sometimes you need to get an exacto knife to get this started. Usually struggle with this, but this one was a little hard to get started. So what I'll do next is I will cut this whole thing off just by starting right here, cutting down to the base where the mouth piece is, and then I will, or the opening, and then just try to cut around. And it's not very easy to do this, so kind of have to find the easiest way for you to do this. If you prefer to use an X-Acto knife, you can. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because we're going to make this into petals anyways. So you can see like there's a jagged edge there. I'm just going to cut that petal right there. And that's going to be one petal. And I'm just going to keep cutting each of these and this is kind of broken here so I don't want to include that I'll cut that out and this is a very large petal but we can make it we can make it into two small ones and so I'll start shaping these into petals as well I'll just round out the top and maybe a little waviness Just going to round this out a little bit. I don't want it to be jagged where it might accidentally cut me. So I've made that pretty round into a petal shape. And I'll just keep doing the same thing to the rest of these. So I've cut all these pieces out. I cut out another water bottle and I've got about 10, I think I have 10 petals now and as you can see they're all in various sizes. Some of them are smaller and some of them are bigger and now I'm going to start painting them and you can decide what color you want to use. Um, I have done one already in this red color and I really liked the way it turned out. This time around is I wanted to use a little gold on the edge and then make the petal pink. So I've got a little gold over here and I'm just going to take a little of that and just paint just the top edges. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some pink paint directly to the petal. I am just going to paint the inside. Make sure you're painting the inside of the petal. If you want this to look shiny like glass, 
you don't want to paint the outside if you want your if you want your flower to be matte then you do want to paint the outside and see that I'm running right over the gold a little bit and notice that I am painting in this direction kind of going in the shape of the petal So I've got these petals painted, but as you can see, that one layer is very see-through at this point. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more layer so it's just a little bit thicker. So once you're done painting all the petals, um, you also want to paint your flower base. And I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. I'm going to put a little gold on the edges of each petal, and then I will come back and um, add the pink. And I'm also going to paint the inside, this base area And fully cover it with the pink. So I've painted all my petals and I'm gonna give it a few minutes to dry. So while I'm waiting for it to dry, I want to get my stem and I'm just using a branch that I cut from the tree outside and I kind of cleaned it up, got rid of all the leaves. And I want to puncture a hole in the lid. And you might have like sharp scissors, but my scissors are rounded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a nail and I'm gonna try to puncture a hole right in the middle if I can. I need to be able to fix this into it. So I'm gonna try to um, make this hole bigger. I'm gonna use my scissors and just slowly make that hole bigger bigger until I can fit, fit my stem through it. So I've got a good sized hole here and my stem fits through now and it's there pretty tight which is good I don't want it loose and now I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna put glue right in here so I'm gonna go heat up my hot glue gun so I have my lid um, and my stem attached and I'm now I'm going to apply the glue right at the base, right along where the stem, in, stem is. And I'm gonna try my best not to get any glue inside this area because I'm going to have to put this lid back on. This next step is optional. You don't have to do this and you should only do it if you're comfortable working with fire and um, you have to make sure that the room that you're in is very well ventilated. Um, I'm right by a window and I'm in a quite large room so I feel comfortable and I feel like it's well ventilated. So I am going to do this extra step. So you wanna light your candle. And then what you want to do is I'm going to hold each petal over the flame and it's n I'm not going to touch the flame at all. In no event will this petal ever touch the flame. What I do is I'm going to hold it over the flame where the heat, since the heat is rising and it's going to do this. It's going to wrinkle. is going to wrinkle the petal. And I only want it to wrinkle it just a little bit. So I'm gonna barely hold it over like that. And it's wrinkled and that one's good enough. And I'll do this to every single petal. 
And you don't have to do this to every single petal. You can do it like to every other one. And don't forget to also do it on this piece. And you have to really watch it. Make sure it doesn't start burning it. I'm going to start gluing this flower together. So basically what I want to do is I'm going to probably, I'm going to be gluing these larger petals first and I'll work, as I work in, I'll get smaller and smaller petals. But I want to put a little glue right here and I want to put it right in between two petals like that. So let's put a little glue at the bottom right here. And I'm going to put it right in between. So I'm going to get my next piece. This is a pretty big petal here too. Just put some glue at the bottom here. You don't want to put too much glue because it could melt the plastic. And I'll just go to the next spot here. Just put one right here. And that right in between. And so I'll keep doing that, I'll keep alternating. So I've got my next layer in and I'm just going to keep working at it and um, keep alternating or placing the next one in between those, that next layer. I've got all my petals glued in place and sometimes you have to take them out and redo it if it's not if it doesn't place well and then we're going to put this back on so we'll take this part that we had painted a while ago we're going to cut it out just going to cut little small strips in it and you make sure you don't go all the way down. You want to stop short of that and just keep cutting strips. So you get to the end here. So you end up with something like this. And so we're going to roll this. And we want to make sure that this is going to fit inside here. If it's a little too, you want to make sure it's not too short. If it's too long, you can always trim it. 
So because that fits perfectly, I'm gonna roll it up. going to apply glue all along this edge here. But this is where you gotta have to work it into your, the middle of your flower. I also want to make a leaf for my flower. So I'm gonna cut a leaf out of the side of this bottle. I kind of want to get this design um, in the leaf. And it might be easier just to cut. It might be easier to just cut a piece out first and then shape it into a leaf. That's pretty big. I can probably make this a little bit smaller. That seems like a good size. So I have some green paint here and I'm just going to paint my leaf. And I'm probably going to have to go a couple layers because it's very translucent looking with this, this green paint. I'm also going to paint this bottom here. And I will also paint my stem green. I'm going to glue the leaf onto my stem now. Just find a good spot for it and put a little glue on the edge of my leaf. Just hold that for a minute. I'm going to let it dry and then I will just trim this little excess piece off here. And I'll probably paint this one more time since it's very translucent still. So we're done guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.